sure to see how she signs this tricky pro. Oh! Before she came out, I thought it was more than likely the problems wouldn't be too difficult, so they were going to need to flash them all. So I said, you'll probably need to flash them all. And she flashed them all, so that was fine. I'm really excited to be working with Polish Project on a new series for Epic TV about my life, competing, training, and all the fun bits in between. Not that training and competing isn't fun, but oh well. <laughs> It's always different competing in front of a home crowd. I mean, there's so many different elements that come into play. You're always a little bit more nervous because I guess people expect more from me in an event like this. But it's great to be here. Everyone's so supportive. And yeah, there's, there's so many fans in the crowd. And that really makes a big difference for me when I'm out climbing. We try and eliminate any of those kind of bad things that might happen. I mean, generally, you're going to have a bad ISO because you forget something. So you make sure you've got a checklist and you get those things in your bag and they're there. If you turn up and the wall's not to your liking, you've got a plan as to what happens when you turn up and there's a good warm-up wall and you've got a plan for when there's not such a good warm-up wall. And then beyond that, it's just practicing. When I come out on this boulder, it's a brand new boulder problem. Clear everything that's happened beforehand, get on that problem. If it goes well, great. If it doesn't go well, the next problem is a whole new problem and it's getting used to that kind of mindset of just clearing your head and dealing with the thing that's in front of you, not worrying about what's about to come or what's just happened. Yeah, I was pretty certain I'd be able to flash last order. It's kind of my style, you know, like throw in between decent holds. <laughs> Maybe that's not my style, but I like it and it's fun. So yeah, I do it quite a lot. Um, I was quite confident going out to the fourth order, but also a little nervous, you know, you don't want to make any little slips, but yeah, it went well, so I can't complain. <laughs> Your winner, and we're once again the British champion, it's Shana Coxey! Ladies and gentlemen, the podium positions for the British Bouldering Championships 2015 here at It's definitely harder, the mental game in the World Cups, because people expect me to podium, they expect me to be in finals, they expect me to win events now. Once you've won one, people just want you to keep winning, and almost nothing else is is good enough but for me if I can go out and perform at my best and be satisfied with my performance afterwards that's what I'm looking to achieve. Einen wunderschönen guten Abend. Servus, grüß Gott, good evening to the world from Munich. Going to Munich, it was the first time I felt like I'd gone to a World Cup to compete to win this year, which was a, an amazing feeling. Yeah, I just felt like I was kind of getting back to where I wanted to be and that I could give a performance that I was really satisfied with. And yeah, I guess that's how you want to feel in a World Cup. So yeah, it's good. Four Flash Final is kind of like the dream, I guess, and to be able to do that in front of that crowd and in that arena with my family there as well was absolutely amazing. From Great Britain, Shauna Coxie! Yeah, I wouldn't change the season that I've just had, but hopefully next year I'm totally injury free and don't have to go through that again. <laughs> I don't really know what, what's next, actually, yeah. I'm definitely keen for some rock climbing, but my finger still isn't 100%, so I want to make sure I rehab that fully. And, yeah, I don't know. Just go climbing and have some fun. <laughs>